Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing this eye look with the browns and the greens from the Sahara palette. The Sahara palette is made by Face Candy and it is the dupe for the Kylie Jenner's Nice palette. So a lot of really pretty colors in here, but my eye kept gravitating towards this color up here called Shade and I just put my finger in the eye palette. That is fabulous. So anyways, I wanted to use, see if this greenish bluish color picked up and if it stayed green or blue, cause I used another palette and it totally turned a different color with a color similar to this. So I was very excited to see that the greens picked up or the shifting picked up really well. So totally excited about this. I don't have the original Kylie Jenner palette to compare to this, so I'm sorry. I can't do the dupe or be duped on this piece. But what do I think about this palette? So the colors are, they blend really well, so that's always good. Um, the colors have a ton of fallout. So after I tap my brush, for the most part, I just use the fallout to keep going, but you can see in the palette how you can definitely tell what colors that I've used because it it looks a little beat up already. And this was only the first use. So the palette is out of cardboard. It has some really pretty colors on it. It does look like the Sahara Desert. Well, I've never been there, so I'll just assume, but I really like this. Um, the colors, like I said, blended very well and for the price point, I think it is a good palette. I had no problems building them up, making them blend, if anything. Um, I probably used too much, not knowing how pigmented these were. And the first color I used, I think it was called Dune. Just, I had it everywhere. I had it everywhere. So for me, this palette ended up blending really, really nice. The, the color on the outer side, which is this color here, Gazelle, I thought would have picked up a lot darker than what it did. So it didn't pick up as dark as I had hoped, but it still has a nice eye look to it. It, you know, it blended well. I'm sure you could take time to, to build it up. Now this green color, it did take a lot of tapping to get it in place. I just didn't know how, I don't know, I used my finger to put it on. And I think because of the shifting of the color, it looks a lot like this outer V color. So as I turned my head, it didn't look like I had any on. But then when I turned my face again, I could see that it was on. So that was a little, the holographic kind of look was uh, kept catching me off guard. So anyways, I hope you like this. And if you wanna see how I created this eye look using the Sahara palette, stay okay, tuned. Okay, so this morning we're gonna use the Sahara palette by Face Candy. This is a dupe from the Kylie Jenner's Nice palette. That was for, let me put it up there. That was for Christmas or fourth quarter 2017. It is manufactured in Los Angeles or distributed in Los Angeles. So it is also a cruelty free product. So we love us some cruelty free. All right, we are gonna start with the color Sandstorm. And you guys are probably picking up my husband's laughter in the background. It sounds like whoever he's talking to on the phone, he's having a good time with. Okay, my palette is like semi-shedding. You can see the flakes kind of moving. So I don't know why that top layer is shedding almost like it was dropped or broken. So we'll see how that, if that's like that on the rest of the palettes. So I can't remember if I mentioned this color is called Sandstorm. So I'm putting down Sandstorm as our canvas or our base color. And then we'll pop everything else on top. All right, I'm gonna pick up a fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with this color called Dunes. And since I don't, ooh, oh, look at that fallout. Since I don't have 
the original Kylie Nice palette. I can't tell you if these are the same names or not. Holy mackerel, I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, so tapping my brush kind of helped, but I've got a lot of product on that one eye. I feel a cleanup in aisle two is going to be happening on these eyeballs today. I'm going to pick up the color here called Hot Spell, I think. I use that Dunes color. I'm now afraid to use Hot Spell. Got to be careful. I've created a hot mess. said these colors have a bit of fallout a lot of bit of fallout I'm gonna pick up this little dude right here and we're gonna pick up the color here called gazelle pick up the fluffy brush with that first color we use. I'm going to just use what is already on the pan as far as fall fallout goes and I'm just going to kind of smooth all those colors together. So picking up the fallout and tapping still leaves a lot of fallout in that pan which is crazy. So right now I'm in a quandary because I really want to try this color here but I really like this color here, and I really like that color there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this greenish color. We'll see how it picks up. Sometimes it, it, these colors shift, and they don't look like they do in the pan, and they become a new color. And this one still has its green shift, so that's good. Kinda goes on a blue-green. I'm going to go back with this sand. Nah, I'm not. I lied. I lied. I want a wider color for underneath my brow. Okay, we're going to pick up this color actually from Mary Kay. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It is called Spun Silk. This was like my jam forever. So I bought like a million of them. Even though it looks a little bit pinker in the pan, it doesn't come out really pink. So yeah, this was my favorite forever. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this flat brush here from e.l.f. and I'm using the color Espresso by L'Oreal. And the foundation I'm using today is Vici. And it looks like it's a L'Oreal product. Doing a a test today on the foundation. Ooh, law. Well, I got some fallout here. Okay, we've got our eyes lined. Now it's time for mascara. I'm using the Double Decker from Butter London. Oh, that's so nice. I love when I do that. Just adds a flare. Today is just my day. I went ahead and did a big old glob right there too. All right, while those globs are drying, I'm gonna move on to my brows. And I'm gonna use a soft brown dip pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so eyes are basically done. Now we will use some Makeup Revolution, and this is the Conceal and Define. It is a full coverage concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Studio Makeup 
HD finishing powder. I'm gonna use this color here called Brink from Colourpop. And I'm gonna try this color, the Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline. This is in the color Loyalist. For contour today, I'm going to use the Hula Light. Let's see. I have these colors from Lorac, and I don't think I've ever used them. Maybe once. I think I'm debating between this and this. Maybe this towards the back of the cheek and that on the apple. So we'll start with the apple. And that color is called the Wavelength. And then we'll pick up some of the color Ray. Use that more towards the temple. And We'll pick up some Kitty Cat. Setting Spray by Scandinavia. And that completes our look. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Sahara palette from Face Candy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.